What's up folks, my name is Renzo Montiuti and welcome to my YouTube channel. If there's anybody new to this channel, in this channel we go all over Central Florida looking at new construction homes, resale homes, investment properties. But in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this beautiful new construction home located here in Ocala, Florida. Um, and this is at a very affordable price. So this is over 2,500 square feet, four bed, three and a half bath. So if this is something that interests you guys, stay till the end of the video and come with me. Let's go. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, right in front of the property. And this is gonna be a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, 2,787 square foot home that we're gonna be taking a look at today. Now to get a perspective on where we are, we're here in Ocala, Florida, and we're actually in one of the best areas here in Ocala. We're right next to Highway 200, which on Highway 200, you have all the different shops, restaurants, hospitals, shopping centers, malls, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, anything you can possibly imagine is gonna be on this road, which is literally one to two minutes away from this community. Now, we're also gonna be five to seven minutes from downtown Ocala, and all you gotta do is get on that Highway 200 and it'll take you straight to downtown Ocala. Now, to give you a perspective of where we are in Florida, we're only about an hour and 15 minutes away from downtown Orlando, and we're gonna be an hour and 20 to hour 25 from the Orlando International Airport. Now, on the other side, we're gonna be about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 from Tampa, Florida, and you're gonna be around an hour and 35 minutes from the Tampa Airport. Um, also, we have Gainesville, which is about 30 to 40 minutes north of Ocala, where you can have the University of Florida, you can guys can go to Gator Games and watch them beat everybody. Not this season, but next season, they'll start winning again. So one of the best places to go here ne near this community is gonna be Heathbrook Plaza. Heathbrook Plaza is gonna have epic theater, so it's gonna have a movie theater, you're gonna have an oyster bar, you're gonna have tons of restaurants, shopping centers, you're gonna have Bell's Outlet, you're gonna have Target, you're gonna have everything in that shopping center, so you're gonna have a really good time spending some time there. Um, also, I actually went to visit the uh, Saturday night, and I just saw a lot of families come together, having dinner together, having a good time, drinking a beer, and really enjoying themselves. And the great thing about Ocala is everybody is super, super friendly. So like, I could literally go up to anybody, and we can strike up a conversation and, and really get to know each other. But yeah, that's one of the places that I could highly recommend that is very close by to this community. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now it's time to go take a tour of this home. And please don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you enjoy some of my content. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go take a look. Come on. Here we are at the front door of this property inside of this beautiful home and before we get started on this tour i just want to let you know that each home has different color schemes each floor plan has different color schemes so you really have a bunch of different options so this floor plan is going to have one specific color scheme and different types of flooring and carpet and everything so we're going to be taking a look at this floor but just know it's variable um, based off which model you look at so this is the Camden model we are inside of right now, and this is gonna have some gray ceramic flooring right here in the main living spaces, in the wet areas, pretty much. But let's go ahead and get started. So this is gonna be the first bedroom we take a look at. So in this bedroom, this is gonna be facing the north side of the home, so the front of the home. Um, as you can see, this is a really nice home. You're gonna have two big windows here, so it's gonna bring in a lot of natural light. You're gonna have some, you're gonna have carpet in this room, um, and then you're gonna have this double door closet right over here that it fits a good amount of space. So if, if I'm inside this closet, you know, I can actually go over here, have a good amount of space, just to give you a perspective on the size. So let's go ahead, and this is gonna be a Jack and Jill 
um, connected with the second bathroom. So this bathroom is gonna have a double vanity, granite countertops, it has this oaky brown colored uh, cabinets at the moment. You got a nice big mirror. And then over here, you're gonna have your toilet, bathtub. So to give you a perspective on the size of this tub, I'm 5'10", um, about 180 pounds, and this, this will get the job done pretty much. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna step right over here into the next bedroom. This is gonna be the second bedroom. And this one's right in between getting into the living room and you know you have a window looking on the right side of the home if you're facing the front door so this one has one window so depending on where the home is located you'll get a lot of natural light coming like noon to 5 p.m um coming into this room so this has the same style closet these are going to be about 10 by 11 sized rooms so you have plenty of good space and yeah so let's step over here coming into the living space. This home is freaking huge. Um, this side of the home is honestly like a private area with a, its own bat, bat, uh, bedroom, living room. But first we're gonna get started in the main part of the house. So here we are in the it pretty much the living area. Right over here, we're gonna have the dining room um, that can definitely see a big, big uh, you know dining room table. This one fits about six people. You could probably get one even bigger that can fit eight people. So this is fantastic. And then over here, you have your living space. So. In all honesty, it doesn't get much better than this. You know, it's very clear cut how to organize the home. You know, you're gonna have your couches over here. You're gonna have the island in the kitchen overlooking the living room. So if your family's watching football, if you guys are watching the World Cup, um, you know, this is a great home to just have a good atmosphere and everybody's enjoying the time together. Over there, right behind the camera is gonna be the TV area. And now we're here in the kitchen. So this kitchen might be one of the best things about this home is you have this absolutely massive island in the kitchen. So you have this nice gray with some black spots countertop. This is gonna be granite. All the appliances are coming with this home. Uh, microwave, stove, dishwasher, refrigerator. Everything's gonna be coming with this home, which is fantastic. Washer and dryer as well. These are gonna be Whirlpool appliances. So, and they're good quality Whirlpool appliances. Um, so yeah, we have the double sink here. We are gonna have this nice pantry space right over here. It kind of has like that um, square look, rectangular look in here. You got your nice big cabinets over here. So you got plenty of space to have all your food, cups, silverware, everything. And yeah, so I really wanna know what you guys think about this kitchen. Me personally, this is one of the best kitchens that Dear Horton has to offer, um, in my opinion. But yeah, so over here, we're gonna have the refrigerator. You're gonna have also this nice little uh, cabinet space right over here as well. And you're gonna come, it's gonna come with this refrigerator and awesome. Also, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that at the end of this video, I'm gonna be talking about all the finances. I'm gonna be talking about the price, you know, what kind of negotiations Dear Horton is doing right now, not just Dear Horton, but communities, um, the taxes, the HOA, and then I'm gonna get into a little bit of the finances. So if there any, is anybody interested in buying a home, I'll tell you exactly you know, what to expect when it comes to how much money you need, your credit score, and all that good stuff. So here we are in the breakfast nook area. So this is fantastic that you also have your dining room area and your breakfast nook area. So yeah, so this is a perfect breakfast nook area. You know, have some breakfast with the family. If you're kind of just having a casual quick lunch, you know, this is great space to have. And yeah, so now we're gonna step into the master bedroom, ladies and gentlemen. So this is an absolutely massive master bedroom that we have right here. This is a king size bed that we have here. This is absolutely huge, this room. Um, so over here, we have a lot of space. You're gonna have three big windows get coming and it's gonna bring in a lot of natural light. So like, let me turn this light off and you'll kind of see. So the light is off right now and look how bright this room is right now. So it really brings in tons of natural light, especially here in Ocala, we have a lot of sun. Um, and yeah, so this is it. Now let's step into the master bathroom. Here we are, 
And so the good thing about this home is you're gonna have both bathtub and walk-in shower, which is fantastic. So here you have a nice tub. Here you have your walk-in shower, which you definitely got a lot of space. The cool thing about this is that the handle's over here. So like, you know, sometimes the water gets cold or it's cold before it starts. So like you can kind of hide in the corner until it gets warm <laughs> and yeah. Um, so here we're gonna have a double vanity with the same color countertop that we have in the kitchen and the other bathroom. You're gonna have the double vanity, same color cabinet. So keeping the same color scheme throughout the house. And then over here, we're gonna have a huge, huge closet. So this is gonna really, really give a good amount of space. And, um, and yeah, so this goes deep in here, all the way to the back. So you got a good amount of space in here. And yeah. So now let's go check out that other side, the private area of this house that's kind of separated. The good thing about it is if, um, you know, if you are looking to maybe have some family or if you wanna even rent out another side of the house and get some income while you're living in this side, that is definitely possible with this home, um, which is really, really good. It has your mother-in-law suite. So come with me. Over here, we're gonna have a half bathroom. So this is gonna be a very nice half bathroom. It's gonna come with a vanity, your toilet, a mirror, and yeah, it's a pretty typical half bathroom. And then coming back over here, we're gonna take a left. And here you're gonna have your washer and dryer. So it's gonna come with these beautiful Whirlpool appliances. And then this door right here is where you're gonna have your AC unit. Now I believe this home does come with two AC units. I need to double check that. I'm gonna make sure, but um, because this home is very large, it might have two AC units, but I'm gonna double check that. Don't quote me on it just yet. So now over here, this is another living room. So this is gonna be a living room for this mother-in-law suite area. So you're gonna have natural light coming on the east side of the home if you're facing, or west side of the home if you're facing the front door. Um, and yeah, so you really have a nice area over here. You're also gonna have some countertops right over here. So you're almost gonna have like an extra kitchen space. This does not come with a stove, but all you could do is get a, a plug-in countertop stove and you are good to go. This unit can rent out right away. Now, if you look over here, you also have a door. Now, this door is not currently coming with the floor plan. They just notified me. Um, so this door is not coming with it. I'm gonna ask the builder if they can reincorporate it if someone is interested, but for now it's not coming in, but it is possible also to put a door here after closing. Um, it just might be a, a thousand or $2,000 to do so. But I have someone who could definitely do that if this was something of interest. And now let's go into the master bedroom for this private suite area. So here we are in the master bedroom for this side. And this is huge. It has a walk-in closet. It has your own private bathroom. You have a nice, another nice window. And this is a twin size bed, but this could easily fit a king size bed. You have plenty of room. You'll have plenty of room over here and everywhere you pretty much go. So now stepping over here into the closet space, you, this is a pretty nice closet space, you know, plenty of, you got plenty of room to hang your uh, clothes and your shoes up here. You can put like a nice cabinet over here, hold some more clothes. Definitely enough space for one person or two people. And then here you have the master bath. And you're gonna have one sink, same color scheme, toilet, walk-in shower. So this is a big plus that it comes with another walk-in shower. Typically, most homes might come with another tub, something like that, but this is great that it has this walk-in shower. And it's the same thing, the handle is on the other side of where the shower head is. So when it's cold, you don't wanna get wet right away, you can kind of just turn the handle over here. This does come with a three-car garage, ladies and gentlemen. So we're right here, now we're gonna take a right, and we're gonna go into the garage space. So right now this is being used as a mo uh, the sales office, um, but this is gonna be a three car garage. You do have a ton of space. You can definitely fit the three cars in here. Okay, so let's step outside to see the back porch area and give you an idea of what the backyard and what's gonna be coming with the home exterior wise. So you are gonna have this beautiful, beautiful 
back porch area. This is a really big space. Um, you can definitely fit a grill, get some chairs, get some tables out here, even put a TV on the wall and watch some football. Enjoy the beautiful weather here in Ocala, Florida. Right now it's about 72 degrees. So it, it doesn't really get much better than that. The winter time here in Florida, stays around 60 to 70 so you're it's living paradise here in the winter um you could get this screened in the community is isn't going to screen in the lanai but that's something you can do after closing um the lot sizes on these homes are typically around 0.17 to 0.2 acres give or take you could have some maybe one a little smaller you can have a corner lot that's going to be maybe a quarter acre maybe even more um but yeah these are higher lot sizes than the typical horton homes and yeah so this is the backyard these are the ac units that are going to be the outside ac condensers um and these are going to be coming with the home carrier and this is going to have two-year warranty this build you do have one two ten warranty so you're gonna have a 10-year structural two-year mechanical and uh one year i forget the name but it's uh it's a one-year warranty, I believe, on like the cabinets, the flooring, and stuff like that. And then the plumbing, um, mechanical, is gonna be two years, structural is 10 years. That includes the roof, foundation, and the exterior of the home. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's go talk about the financing and see what we have going on. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the end of the tour and I'm ready to give you guys all the numbers you need to know about this property. So first things first, let's start with the price. The price of this home is $419,000. Just to give you a perspective, this same home in the Orlando area is going for 475, 500 and up. Here in Ocala, near downtown, you're looking at 419 and I'm gonna tell you something that builders probably won't be happy I'm telling you is that this is negotiable, you know? So a lot of times builders like, okay, this is the set price. And typically when you come in alone without a realtor, they're gonna tell you, hey, this is the price. If you want it, this is it. But that's where a realtor comes in. If you have one where it's gonna be like, I'm talking like, okay, the maximum that we have is like 405, 410. You know, can you give it, help us with closing costs? So that's where realtor comes in and negotiates. I just uh, had a, uh, some, a time with an amazing client who was actually interested and in looking at this same model and we negotiated almost 10 to $15,000 in credit and dropping in the price. So it was something fantastic. Builders, I hope you guys don't see this and I hope you don't hate me for it, but this is important for the people to know. So the taxes on this property are gonna be 1.5% of the price of the property and that's before Homestead. I'll explain what Homestead is in a second. So just to give you an idea, so let's say this house, you get it around 410, 410,000. Uh, 1.5% is gonna be $6,150 per year. Now, let's say you live here for a year. Let's say you're a Florida resident and live in this property for a year. You can immediately apply for Homestead, which can deduct 500 to almost $800 on your tax amount per year. So what it does, it drops the taxable amount on your property by $50,000. So instead of paying taxes on a $410,000 home, you'll be paying taxes on a $360,000 home if you are homesteading. Now, if you're an investor, you have a house here where it's an investment property, you do not apply for homestead, so you just pay the full tax amount, no biggie. And now, getting into the HOA, the HOA is only $65 per month here. Now, this is gonna be coming with the lawn care of the community areas. This is gonna come with a beautiful playground. I think you even have a nice dog park area. Um, you actually do have the dog park area, not maybe. Um, you have a dog park. So if you have you know, a big dog and there are no breed restrictions, which is great. So you can have whatever dog and you can have it playing out there, which is phenomenal because it's super important. Not only that we give the care for the dogs, um, but we also let them have some fun as well. So, and last but not least, there is no CDD on this property. So after talking to the builders and some of the homeowners in the area, it's gonna be a lot of doctors, lawyers, business owners who are living in this community. And also there's a very good amount of children who live in here as well. So it's a really nice suburban family oriented community where you can really have a good time. Um, I know a lot of people have retired in these homes as well and they absolutely love it. Everybody's super friendly. Like I went out and just talked to everybody and they're more than willing to have a conversation with you and become friends, 
which is what I love about Ocala and this community specifically. Last but not least, let's say, you know, you're looking at this video and you're like, okay, how much money do I need? Or what does my credit need to look like? So we have a bunch of different options and there's always a way if you have the will to do it. So first things first, if you're looking for a primary residence, you're moving from out of state, you're trying to move to Florida, you can get in a first time home buyers program loan, which is an FHA loan. This is probably one of the most common um, that we close that everybody closes with. It's very common. It's not a difficult loan to process and it's only a three and a half percent down payment. So if we're looking at this home, let's go back to the, the purchase price because I don't want to guarantee any discounts or anything. But let's say the home is 419 and three and a half percent is fourteen thousand six hundred and sixty five dollars. Now, this community is giving you ten thousand dollars in closing cost credit. So you're already Pretty much, you could probably get this home for around twenty to thirty thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. They also have an interest rate buy down if you use their, their preferred lender. The interest rate buy down will take you to a five point eight five fixed interest rate for thirty years. So. That is something fantastic about this builder and I love that they are taking initiative to help buyers move into homes that they love and make it a little more affordable for them. Because imagine trying to get this home at a seven rate, but you might not qualify, but if you get it at 5.85, you definitely could qualify. All depends on the DTI and debt to income ratio, all that good stuff. Now let's say you're looking at an investment. Let's say you love that separate area over there and you wanna rent out both sides of the house. You could do a 15% down payment on an investment, which would be a conventional loan. But what I would recommend is doing a 20% down payment because once you do 20%, you don't pay private mortgage insurance, which saves you about two to three to maybe even $400 per month on your monthly income. So for any investors out there, you know it's about the cash flow. You wanna reduce that cash flow as much as possible. So I'd, per, I'd recommend paying the 20%, gives you a lower monthly payment and takes out that PMI, which helps you keep some income. 20% on 419,000, ladies and gentlemen, you are looking around $83,800. Closing cost, same closing cost incentives, um, you do not have the interest rate buy down. That is only for primary residence buyers only. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this information was super valuable. And if you have any questions at all, please put it in the comments below and I would be happy to reach out and have a conversation with you. I have a full team disposable to help you guys out, transaction coordinator, showing agent. So if you guys have any questions, we are here to help. And I hope you enjoyed this tour. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, ciao.